Russia's Gas News Agency has reported that the BrahMos-2 hypersonic missile is being developed by Russia's Research and Production Association of Machine Building and India's Defense Research and Development Organization, and the design of the hypersonic version has been worked out by both sides. It will have the same performance characteristics as Russia's Zircon missile, and will conduct its first test in the next five years. The BrahMos-2 will have a maximum speed of Mach 9 and a maximum range of 1,500 km, and will carry a 400 kg warhead, that can be launched from submarine surface ships and land-based launcher. The CEO of BrahMos Aerospace has said, that the BrahMos 2 would be very expensive, and as India is part of the missile technology control regime, it can develop a missile with a range of over 300 km and a weight of over 500 kg, but it cannot be exported to third countries. Russia's Gas News Agency has reported that Myanmar might purchase the Indo-Russian BrahMos supersonic anti-ship cruise missiles by borrowing money from the Indian government. The Myanmar Navy currently has five types of anti-ship cruise missiles in its arsenal, that includes the Chinese and Russian subsonic missiles. Indonesia could soon become the second Southeast Asian nation to order the BrahMos after Philippines, as Indonesia is in the final stages of talks for the shore-based anti-ship variant of the BrahMos system. Russian President Vladimir Putin has released a new maritime doctrine, which has put collaboration with India at the center stage of Russia's Indian Ocean strategy, that involves expansion of shipping lines in the Indian Ocean region, develop strategic and naval cooperation with India. Within the framework of the new naval doctrine, Russia has announced its intention to create new naval bases in the region, for the expansion of Russian naval presence. The Indian Navy is looking to procure two midget submarines, that might lead to the procurement of four more midget submarines later, for deployment and recovery of special forces and coastal monitoring. Mazagin Dock Ship Builders Limited has started work on the first prototype of its diesel-electric submarine, while on the other hand, Indian private sector company Larsen and Tubro Defense had also come up with a design for a diesel-electric midget submarine called the SOV-400, which is 44 meters long and has a displacement of less than 490 tons. Hindustan Aeronautics is looking forward to conclude a deal with the Indian Air Force for 70 HTT-40 trainer aircraft, with the provision for additional orders for 38 units. In its annual report, Hindustan Aeronautics has forecasted export potential of HTT-40 to be around 220 units. HAL also intends to target the global helicopter market with its Indian multi-role helicopter, and has forecasted a requirement of at least 500 helicopters of this type, while 400 helicopters will be ordered by the three Indian armed services. The Ministry of Defense is working to bring new reforms, for creating an enabling ecosystem to develop engines for maritime and airborne platforms through partnerships between defense public sector firms and private sector firms. India currently manufactures marine engines with a power output of 3 megawatts, but the defense ministry now seeks to create a collaboration to scale it up to 10 megawatts. According to a report released by the U.S. Department of Defense, China is secretly engaged in increasing the stock of long- and short-range conventional missiles, that can be fired from land and sea, and it poses a serious threat to the U.S. military presence in the Indian Ocean. China has deployed about 2,000 missiles for the Indo-Pacific region, and the maximum range of these cruise missiles are up to 1,800 kilometers. Oh, Omar, drop it.